Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about how we solve for the missing pieces, uh, sides or angles of similar figures. All we're really going to do is set up some different proportions and solve, but it's cool because we kind of get to see um, proportions in action. So in this first example, I have set up, and if you need to take a moment to pause the video so that way you can get the example copied, you can. Um, we have triangle ABC, which is similar to triangle DEF. Um, it's clear that we are going from a bigger triangle to a smaller triangle. I always kind of like to note that because that plays into what our scale factor is going to be. So since we're going from a bigger shape to a smaller shape, that means our scale factor is going to be uh, a number that is in between zero and one. It's going to be some sort of fraction, right? Because this figure is a some sort some sort of fraction of the size of this figure. And by looking at the corresponding sides, we'll be able to figure out what is the missing piece that we're looking for. They put X here. We're trying to figure out what is the length of this side of the triangle. And we'll be able to kind of use the scale factor to determine what that is. So to solve for <clears throat> this missing side, they wanna know what is kind of the length of EF, this part of the triangle. We need to use our corresponding sides. Uh, so if we look at our triangles, uh, side AB, corresponds to side DE in the smaller triangle. So that's the first uh, ratio I'm gonna set up, AB over DE. And since these two uh, particular triangles are supposed to be similar to each other, uh, that means if I set up a different pair of corresponding sides, the scale factor is going to be the same. All of the sides in these triangles are all the sides, yeah, in both of these triangles should either be increasing or decreasing by the same proportion, by the same amount. So um, the other side we are going to use, we're going to use the kind of the bottom part of the triangle because we're trying to figure out what is X, what is this distance. So we need side BC and side EF. If they gave us another random number for this side of the triangle, we wouldn't need it to solve for X, or we could use it. We could set up a completely different uh, proportion. It would kind of work that way as well. So um, the other proportion, or I'm sorry, the other ratio we're gonna set up is BC over EF. So if I now take these corresponding sides and plug in their distances, I am now gonna have a proportion um, completely set up. So AB is 15, DE, is uh, five, BC is six, and EF we don't know, so we're just gonna use X, we're gonna use the variable. So now we have this proportion and now we are just going uh, to solve this proportion. There's a couple of different ways you could solve it. You could think about how are we getting from 15 to six? What are we multiplying or dividing by? And then we will divide five by the same thing. Um, or you can kind of look at the fractions as a whole and see like, can you simplify this fraction? So if you notice 15 divided by five simplifies to three. Um, so we need to figure out what divided by, uh, or six divided by what equals three. Um, and so most of us can probably just figure that out in our head. Six divided by two equals three, right? Six divided by two equals three. So that means X is equal to two or EF, if we wrote it as the side of the triangle, EF is equal to the distance of two. So this corresponding side is equivalent to two. Um, and now if we look at our corresponding uh, sides here, I'll kind of pull this down, okay? Um, some of us maybe be, you'll start to be able just to see it when you look at the figures themselves. But if I compare the corresponding sides, so now if I go back in and plug in all the numbers, so 15 over five and six over two, these are both um, <clears throat> equivalent to three. Um, and so you would think immediately, oh, well, three is our scale factor. That's kind of what we use to figure out our particular answer. But remember, we're going from a bigger, bigger figure, <laughs> that sounds funny, uh, to a smaller figure. Um, so if we're going from 15 to five, 
we're dividing by three, right? We need to divide by three to get five. And to go from six to two, we are also dividing by three. So our scale factor is not three because scale factor is what we multiply our shapes by to increase or decrease their size. So since we're dividing by three, the way that we would write dividing by three as multiplication is we would say we were multiplying by one third. Or another way to think about it is if we look at these two particular similar figures, DEF, triangle DEF is one third the size of ABC. So our scale factor is not three. Our scale factor is what we have to multiply um, by to either increase or decrease our shape. So since we're going from a bigger to smaller figure, what we're multiplying by is this fraction. And the fraction is one third because we have to divide by three to get the corresponding measurement. So this was the first example. Um, we're gonna do another example. Uh, this is what it looks like. Okay, so um, in this particular uh, figure, there's actually two triangles that are embedded within this shape. And so what I'm gonna tell you is that triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. So this smaller triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. And I want you to try to find what is the length of AD. So this kind of larger side. This looks like an isosceles triangle, but there's no indication that tells us it is an isosceles triangle. So please don't assume that it's 147, okay? So if ABC is similar to ADE, what is the length of side AD? I want you to try to pause the video and see if you can figure it out. And if you think you figured out an answer, unpause it, see if you end up getting the correct answer in the work I've shown you. Um, or if you start it and you get a little confused, go ahead and uh, unpause the video so you can kind of see the work that needs to be done. So one thing I like to do, if you're kind of now checking your solution, is when we have two overlapping similar figures like this, I kind of like to break them down into like a situation like this where they're separated from each other. Um, we're gonna give them a divorce right here. So I'm gonna draw the smaller shape and then I'm gonna draw the larger triangle. And I'm just gonna go forth and put the numbers in the appropriate places. There we go. Um, so this side is 33, this is 13, this is 147 in the bigger triangle. This is 91 in the smaller triangle. And this is the side we want. So you can either put like an X here, or I might just label this AD because I know that this is like that side that I want. So if these two figures are similar, I am gonna try to figure out what the scale factor is. So I notice I am going from a smaller shape to a larger shape. Um, and so because of that, my scale factor is going to be some sort of whole value. It's going to be over one. It's this particular shape is a fraction of the size of this shape, but it's increasing in size. So we're going to be multiplying our uh, side lengths by some sort of whole value to increase the number. So um, I am going to look at, um, I'm going to look at 13 and 91 because those are two measurements of two corresponding sides. So side B, this is side BC and this is side DE. Um, so to get from 13 to 91, uh, I believe you have to multiply by seven to get from 13 to 91. So then that means our scale factor, our scale factor is seven. So this particular triangle, this big triangle is seven times the size of this smaller triangle. So to figure out, what AD is, um, I just need to take that scale factor of seven and multiply it times 33. So 33 times seven uh, is equivalent to 231. So this particular side of the triangle is 231. So again, this is not an isosceles triangle. Um, so all I did, I didn't actually set up proportions like how I did up here. I kind of just used the image 
um, by itself, you will start to see how you can do that. It's a good idea to set up the proportion. If I was to set up the proportion, I would put BC over DE is equivalent to AB over AD. And then I would solve the proportion um, that way. But I kind of noticed, oh, we're just multiplying by seven here. I just have to multiply 33 by seven to figure out that missing value. Um, so you can use this video to reference uh, your homework problems if you need any help. Um, but please make sure if you have any questions, you stop by and ask me. Y'all have a great day.